everyone and welcome to chapel i'm so glad that you're here with me today sunday is a special day do you know why well it's father's day that's the day where we celebrate the men in our life that we call dad as well as the men who fill that role when dad's not around dads are a lot like superheroes they're strong they provide for us they protect us and help us feel safe they teach us how to do things. Some dads even change into a special uniform or suit when they go to work, just like a superhero. Sometimes dads help us remember the rules. And a good dad reminds us of the rules with love. Dads show a lot of patience and forgiveness, and their love shows us how God loves us. In the Bible, this is God's word in chapter 15. We read a story about a lost son. And I'm going to read that story to you today. Jesus told a story about a boy who ran away. Once upon a time, there was a boy and his dad. Now, one day the boy gets to thinking, maybe if I didn't have my dad telling me what's good for me all the time, I'd be happier. He's spoiling all my fun, he thinks. Does my dad really want me to be happy? Does my dad really love me? The son never thought of that before, but suddenly he doesn't know anymore. So the son goes to his father and says, Dad, I'm better off without you. I can look after myself. Just give me my share of your money. The father is sad, but he won't force his boy to stay. So he gives his son what he wants. The son takes the money, goes on a long, long journey to a far off country, and everything's wonderful and perfect for a while. He can go wherever he wants, do whatever he wants to do, be whoever he wants to be. He's the boss, and he thinks he's free. Sometimes he gets a strange, hungry, homesick feeling inside his heart, but then he just eats more and drinks more, buys more clothes, and goes for parties until that feeling goes away. Okay, here's a picture of what that looks like. But soon his money runs out and so do his friends. He gets up, he ends up getting the only job that he can find, feeding pigs. So one day he's so hungry and so desperate, he even tries the piggy food. What am I doing? He said suddenly as if woken up from a nightmare. He spits yuck, all of it, yuck, yuck out of his mouth. My father is rich and here I am in a pigsty eating piggy food. You can see that. That does not look like a pleasant place to be. He wipes his mouth off, dusts himself off, and he now says, I'm going home. As he starts for home though, he begins to worry. Dad won't love me anymore. I've been too bad. He doesn't want me for a son anymore. So he practices I'm, his I'm sorry speech. All this time, he doesn't, what he doesn't know is that day after day, his dad has been standing on the porch, straining his eyes, looking in the distance, waiting for his son to come home. He just cannot stop loving him. He longs for the sound of his boy's voice. He can't be happy until he gets him back. The son is still a long way off, but his dad sees him coming. What will the dad do? Fold his arms and frown, shout, that'll teach you. And just you wait, young man. No, that's not how this story goes. The dad leaps off the porch, races down the hill, through the gap in the hedge, up the road, and before his son can even begin with a I'm sorry speech, his dad runs to him, throws his arms around him, and can't stop kissing him. Let's have a party, his dad shouts. My boy's home. He ran away. I lost him, but now I have him back. Jesus told them, God is like the dad who could not stop loving his boy. And people are like the son who said, does my dad really want me to be happy? Jesus told people this story to show them what God is like and to show people what they are like. So they could know no matter how far they ran, however well they hid, however lost they were, it wouldn't matter. 
because God's children could never run too far or be too lost for God to find them. Here's a picture of what that reunion may have looked like. There's the dad and there the, there's the son. And they're so happy. They're back together again. The lost son is a picture of how God loves us. God is always patient and he always forgives. If there's a special dad or other person in your life who loves you, loves you this way, you need to show how much you appreciate them on this day. We need to appreciate our super dads because they take time to teach us new things. They're patient with us as we learn and as we grow up. And it reminds us that God is also patient with us and he will forgive us when we make mistakes. Let's say a prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for our dads. They love us so much. They're patient with us and they teach us new things. We love them so much. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I have a couple of fun things for you to do this week as you get ready for Father's Day. Have mom go to the church website, that's goodshepherdutah.com, and click on the red banner and then under Family Ministry Resources, and you can download the activities. So here I have a couple of things to show you. These are Father's Day coupons. Now you can just print this out and cut them out. You could even make your own coupons too if you like. And let's see, here we have a Father's Day tie for you to color. And you can make it wild and crazy or something fun or in its favorite colors. And you can write down here at the bottom what you love most about your dad. Okay, this page is for you to fill out as you are starting to think about how your dad is a superhero. There's things on here, my dad is strong because he can, you can fill in the blank. My dad is good at making. When I need help, my dad, and you could just fill in the blanks. Now, boys and girls who don't write yet, have mom give you a hand with this. This would be really fun to do, and I know dad would just love seeing how you think of him as your superhero. Okay, these are some fun, minute to win it games that you can play with your family. Just some kind of fun things that you could use uh, little things around the house to make some games. And I, I hope you enjoy uh, playing together and having fun with that. So remember, go to the website, goodshepherdutah.com and to click on the red banner and then family ministry resources to get all of these fun things to download and use in your home this week. So, uh, I hope you have lots of fun, and I'll see you next time. Remember that God loves you, and so do I. All right. Jesus loves me. Mm -hmm.